If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Share it with a friend and I'll be doing more videos like this just for you. Hello everyone, it's science lesson time with Mom G. Welcome to my class. Are you excited for a fun learning session? Come, join me as we explore the world of science. Make sure you have the following before we start. Science 10 self-learning module, science notebook, drinking water bottle, and snacks. For our class rules, 1. Be prepared for class. 2. Listen attentively. 3. Raise your hand to speak, ask questions, or share new ideas. 4. Stay focused. Five, have fun learning! In module number one, you have learned about the plate tectonic theory. You were able to find the location of the epicenters, volcanoes, and mountain belts as basis of the scientists in dividing the plates. This module is based from the Deaf Ed Most Essential Learning Competency in Grade 10 K-12. That is for you to describe different types of plate boundaries. It will lead you to understand the activities of the earth we experienced that affected us and our environment. Today's objectives 1. Describe the three types of plate boundaries 2. Identify the kinds of class involved in each type of plate boundary interaction and 3. Determine the direction of the interacting forces between the plates. The first lesson in plate tectonic theory was about the distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and major mountain belts. These are visibly evident in the motion of lithosphere. Thus, the study of these three types of plate boundaries will make us understand why and where there are geologic features in a certain location and what kind of crusts are involved. This further help you understand the deformation of the lithosphere that created a great impact not only on the environment but also on us. Have you ever wondered why the plates are all moving in different directions and at different speeds from 2 cm to 10 cm per year about the speed at which your fingernails grow in relation to each other? Did you know that the plates are moving around like cars in a demolition derby, which means they sometimes crash together, pull apart, or sideswipe each other? And this is the focus of our discussion today. The place where the two plates meet is called a plate boundary. Boundaries have different names depending on how the two plates are moving in relation to each other. The three types of plate boundaries are divergent boundary, convergent boundary, and transform boundary. Divergent plate type boundary is a boundary that occurs along the spreading centers where plates are moving apart as the forces interacting are pulling or moving away from each other and different geologic events will develop. It happens between the interaction of continental to continental crust and oceanic to oceanic crust. Divergent boundary or divergent plate boundary is a linear feature that exists between two tectonic plates that are moving away from each other. Divergent boundaries within continents initially produce reefs, which eventually becomes reef valleys. Convergent plate type boundary, the interacting forces are moving toward or pushing each other, thus causing the plates to collide. This may occur between continental to continental, continental to oceanic, and oceanic to oceanic crust. Convergent boundary is an area on Earth where two or more lithospheric plates collide. One plate eventually slides beneath the other, causing a process known as subduction. The subduction zone can be defined by a plane where many earthquakes occur called the Wadadi-Benioff zone. A convergent 
convergent plate boundary is where two or more tectonic plates meet. This causes very large earth movements. It also forms mountains, hills, and volcanoes. The Himalayas were formed by such a collision. Earthquakes and volcanoes are common near convergent boundaries. This is because of pressure, friction, and plate material melting in the mantle. Transform fault plate boundaries are boundaries at which plate move past one another horizontally in opposite directions or in the same directions but at different rates. Most of transform fault plate boundaries are found in the ocean basins, only few of which are found in the continent. This diagram showing a transport fault with two plates moving in opposite direction. Transform boundary is a fault along a plate boundary where the motion is predominantly horizontal. It ends abruptly where it connects to another plate boundary, either another transform, a spreading ridge, or a subduction zone. Transform boundaries represent the borders found in the fractured pieces of the Earth's crust, where one tectonic plate slides past another to create an earthquake fault zone. Linear valleys, small pans, stream beds split in half. Deep trenches and scarps and ridges open mark the location of a transform boundary. Earth's crust is divided into two types, one oceanic crust and two continental crust. Oceanic grass is found under oceans and it is about 4 miles thick in most places. A feature unique to oceanic grass is that there are areas known as mid-ocean ridges where oceanic grass is still being created. Magma shoots up through gaps in the ocean's floor here. As it cools, it hardens into new rock which forms brand new segments of oceanic grass. Since oceanic grass is heavier than continental grass, it is constantly sinking and moving under a continental crust. Oceanic crust is the upper layer of the oceanic portion of the tectonic plate. It is composed of the upper oceanic crust with pillow lavas and a dike complex, and the lower oceanic crust composed of choctolite, rubble, and ultramafic cumulates. The crust overlies the solidified and uppermost layer of the mantle. Continental crust is the layer of igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks that form the geological continents and the areas of shallow seabed close to their shores known as continental shelves. It is less dense than the material of the Earth's mantle and thus floats on top of it. Continental crust is also less dense than oceanic crust, though it is considerably thicker mostly 35 to 40 kilometers versus the average oceanic thickness of around 7 to 10 kilometers. About 40% of the Earth's surface is now underlain by continental crust. Interacting crust can be 1. Oceanic to Oceanic, 2. Continental to Continental, and 3. Oceanic to Continental. Below shows the direction of forces interacting between crust in each plate boundaries. In divergent plate boundary, forces are pulling apart where the plates will move away from each other. Interacting crust can be oceanic to oceanic and continental to continental. What happens when two oceanic plates diverge? When the two plates drift apart, cracks or rifts are formed which are filled by molten magma that rises and finds its way into the rift. This molten magma, due to the presence of water, solidifies very quickly, thus forming underwater volcanoes or volcanic islands. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is an example of a volcano that was formed due to two oceanic plate divergence. What happens when two oceanic plates diverge? If two oceanic plates diverge, a mid-ocean ridge would form, which is also known as a spreading center. Those reef valleys would eventually lead to magma rising to form new crust also. But usually before that can happen, the continent breaks apart and water rushes in to create a new ocean. 
what forms at a divergent continental to continental boundary? When two continental plates diverge from each other, an ocean basin is created due to the separation of land. Divergent boundaries within continents initially produce rifts, which eventually become reef valleys. Divergent boundaries also form volcanic islands, which occur when the plates move apart to produce gaps that molten lava rises to fill. This is how continental continental plate divergence look like. In the continental setting, divergence occurs leading to the formation of ocean. This is a continental continental plate divergence wherein continents are stretched and the crust is thin giving rise to a reef valley. Why is there no oceanic continental divergence? The reason there will be a divergent boundary meaning spreading apart making it likely for magma to reach the Earth's surface and creating an ocean ridge is because continental crust is more dense than oceanic crust. The oceanic crust will always diverge beneath the continental crust because it is less dense. In convergent plate boundary, forces will move toward each other and plates will collide each other. Interacting crust can be 1. Oceanic to oceanic, 2. Oceanic to continental, and 3. Continental to continental. What happens when two oceanic crusts converge? In collision between two oceanic plates, the cooler, older, denser oceanic plates sink beneath the warmer, less dense oceanic plates. The older plate subducts into a trench resulting in earthquakes. As the slabs sink deeper into the mantle, it releases water from dehydration of hydrous mineral in the oceanic crust. What happens when two oceanic plates converge? When the two oceanic plates collide, one oceanic plate is eventually subducted under the other. Some deep focus earthquakes that occur at ocean-ocean collision boundaries can be as deep as 670 kilometers. As the subducted plate descends into the mantle, it is gradually heated allowing the formation of magma. What is an example of oceanic to oceanic convergent boundary? An example of an oceanic to oceanic convergent boundary is that between the Pacific and the Mariana Plates, which includes the Mariana Island Arc and a subduction zone encompassing the Mariana Trench, which is the deepest part of the world ocean. happens when oceanic crust and continental crust converge. The subducting plate causes melting in the mantle above the plate. The magma rises and erupts creating volcanoes. These coastal volcanic mountains are found in a line above the subducting plate as seen in the figure. The volcanoes are known as a continental arc. What happens when continental crust and continental crust converge? If the two plates that meet at the convergent plate boundary both consist of continental crust, they will smash together and push upward to create mountains. Large slabs of little spears smashing together create large earthquakes. The amazing Himalayas mountains are the result of this type of convergent plate boundary. Which surface feature is associated with continental to continental convergent plate boundary? Deep ocean trenches, volcanoes, island arcs, submarine mountain ranges, and fault lines are examples of features that can form along plate tectonic boundaries. Volcanoes are one kind of feature that forms along convergent plate boundaries, where two tectonic plates collide and one moves beneath the other. For transform fault boundaries, forces move past each other or at the same direction but at different rate, the plates will slide or grind past each other. Interacting crust can be continental to continental and oceanic to oceanic. What happens when two plates transform? When oceanic or continental plates slide past each other in opposite directions or move in the same directions but at different speeds, a transform fault boundary is formed. No new crust is created or subducted and no volcanoes form, but earthquakes occur along the fault. 
happens at a continental to continental transform boundary. Transform boundaries are areas where the Earth's plates move past each other, rubbing along the edges. As the plates slide across from each other, they neither create land nor destroy it. Because of this, they are sometimes referred to as conservative boundaries or margins. What happens when oceanic plates transform? Most transform boundaries consist of short faults on the seafloor occurring near mid-ocean reaches. The result is a split in the crust called a fracture zone that extends across the seafloor far beyond the small transform that created it. In our summary, we discussed the three types of plate boundaries. These are divergent boundary, convergent boundary, and transform boundaries. We also mentioned the two types of Earth's crust, oceanic crust and continental crust. And so with the interacting crust can be oceanic to oceanic, continental to continental, and oceanic to continental. We also identify the direction of forces interacting between the crust in each plate boundaries. If you have questions on our discussion, feel free to ask in our agreed platform. Thank you! For our enrichment activities, you are going to create a localized model of the different types of boundaries using the following materials. Soap, sand, clay, graham, or oreo. Take a picture or video how you produce your model and submit output in our agreed platform. Make sure to submit it on time as scheduled. Good luck! Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like and if you're new in this channel, click subscribe to be notified with more videos like this. See you on my next video. Goodbye!